So we will have a uh, stagger and then they will lose that. Uh, they will stay in their lanes the entire race in the lane assignments. There's Kevin Young starting from lane five. Derek Atkins as Craig mentioned in lane six. And uh, let's not uh, forget Eric Kater of Kenya in lane three. Torrance Zellner in lane four. But we'll focus our attention on lane five and Kevin Young. From inside, Henderson, Harris, Kater, Right now Zellner, it's an even Zellner, race and making up Zellner, the stagger in lane number Derek six. Derek Atkins, Atkins lane comes lane up six. as you would expect. Atkins very aggressive over those first couple of hurdles. And Kevin Young is trailing badly now. Now he has great strength over the last 200 meters. But Atkins running a very aggressive race out in front. And Danny Harris also very much in this competition. Now Derek Atkins. Kevin Young has closed in now for the first time. Atkins is going to have a set, and Atkins goes down. Derek Atkins goes down. Goes down. And Atkins and Young and now Nylander. And here is Kevin Young being challenged on the outside by Nylander. Pushing in, and it is Torrance Zellner with a last effort. So Torrance Zellner ranked fourth in the United States last year from Baltimore, Maryland. With a final push, beat Kevin Young, who appeared to have this one. But Derek Atkins might have been shaken up as he fell coming out of that uh, last turn. So Zellner, in a bit of a surprise here, defeats the world and American record holder in the men's 400 meter hurdles. Well you could see that Kevin Young was a little bit vulnerable from the start. Very tentative going out but he seemed to have made all the right moves. There you see him on the right of the screen. He closed in on the man in blue Derek Atkins seemed ready to challenge him and I think this may have been what happened is that Atkins got a little bit nervous as he sensed Young come up alongside. He went down. Then this man there you see number 185 Sven Newlander seemed to be the one in charge. Here we take again another look at Kevin Young measuring his steps up to that hurdle. Atkins has trouble and goes down very hard. It's a shame the leading time for an American this season. Kevin Young then had to regather. That shakes you up when you see something like that happen. But you would have said normally nobody's going to come back from behind Kevin Young in the home stretch. He's always the strongest. But when it's your first race you never know quite what's there. To the left of the screen we can't quite see Sven Nulander from Sweden. He challenged and then Young started to get tight on the right. Torrance Zellner, who you pointed out, fourth in the U.S. last year, comes up, timed his finish just right, and takes the victory.